I'm on Nose Creek in Airdrie. It's uh, June 1st, 2013. And uh, this past month, while I was doing some willow planting along Nose Creek, I came across two piles of uh, crustacean shells. And at first, I wondered what, what sort of crustacean could be in this creek. Uh, I saw the pincers, and I th first thing I thought of was uh, crabs because they, they were blue in color. The shells, dried shells, were blue, and I thought of uh, Pacific blue crabs, and I wondered if somebody was using them for bait for fishing or something. But anyway, I uh, mentioned this to uh, Peter McCartney of the Airdrie Echo, and he was interested in doing a follow-up and possibly capturing um, one of these specimens that we thought might be crayfish. And so I came down here today and I brought a dip net and uh, I came down below the Taco Bell in Airdrie in Silver Springs. And I looked down from the bridge as I was crossing it and I saw this pile of rocks and usually crayfish like to hide and cover such as rock piles along shorelines. So I came down here with my dip net, flipped a rock over, saw something dart for cover. So I got ready with my dip net and I flipped another rock over and quickly netted uh, something that was shooting for cover and it turned out to be a crayfish. So I cap, I netted it and put it into this bucket here. The only known native population of uh, Alberta crayfish is on the Beaver River system up near uh, Lac La Biche. Other than that, uh, there's been no documented uh, populations uh, on southern Alberta streams, especially the Bow River system. This crayfish is a female and it's uh, ripe with eggs underneath its tail. That's what that black mass is. This ripe female indicates to me that these crayfish are successfully spawning and reproducing on the Nose Creek. I don't know what the uh, long-term uh implications are of having crayfish in the Bow River watershed. Crayfish have been known to uh, decimate uh, invertebrate populations in some lakes that have been illegally stocked with them down in the states and uh, if these little critters uh, make it down to the Bow River or are already down in the Bow River uh, there may be some some sort of uh, impact that uh, we are yet to find out about and uh, with the Bow River fishery being world famous for its uh, rainbow and brown trout fishery I would be uh, definitely concerned as an angler about uh, the introduction of invasive species like the crayfish <laughs>